The introduction at today's LA Auto Show, the brand new uh, Santa Fe. Yeah, very excited to bring uh, the all new 2024 Santa Fe here to the LA show. Uh, much different looking than what you've seen in the past with Santa Fe. Uh, definitely a larger vehicle, about two inches longer in overall length and two and a half inches uh, taller than the outgoing car. That increase in size allows us to have a standard third row. So we've got seating for either six or seven, uh, depending on the seat configuration. Uh, and also the standard engine now is a 2.5 liter turbo delivering 277 horsepower. Uh, so definitely even the standard engine's got the plenty of motivation to move the vehicle. Uh, we also have a, no, a more efficient option uh, with the hybrid, uh, turbocharged hybrid as well. So how does this compare then to your big uh, third row SUV in size? So yeah, so Palisade is still about six inches larger and we definitely think there's uh, you know a space for both of these vehicles even though they both have three rows. Uh, Santa Fe is positioned a little bit more, we call it refined rugged, um, whereas Palisade a little bit more you know traditional family. Uh, so both from a price point uh, and a size and where they are in their life stages, definitely have room for both vehicles in the lineup. What amazes me, because a year ago you and I were talking all electric vehicles, and then now we got, I don't want to call it a gas cover, but it's a gas engine vehicle, and the popularity is amazing. Yes. I mean, and we have the hybrid option as well, which is, you know, electrification uh, in there as well. But, you know, there still is the market um, for the gasoline-powered vehicles. There will be for a, a little while, and we are obviously embracing it and moving towards, uh, you know, full electrification. Um, but, you know, in this transition period, we want to offer customers, you know, options, whether it be the gas, the hybrid, or our other uh, full EV vehicles as well. Uh, we know that Tucson has those options, so you alluded to it a little bit. Is this one going to have a hybrid or a plug-in hybrid, or what options? Yeah, we want to focus uh, on two powertrains for Santa Fe. It will be the gas engine and the, the turbo hybrid, both of which are built in our, um, our HMMA facility, our uh, Alabama plant. Um, so proudly saying, you know, both versions are built here in America. Now what about uh, upgrading or any changes to the telematics or uh, the safety features? So uh, obviously with each introduction of new vehicles we get you know more advanced safety technology. Uh, we have you know the full safety a Hyundai Smart Suite which is the full safety suite uh, of advanced driver assist systems with this vehicle. A lot of new features um, and a lot of new you know a lot of thoughtful uh, thought input went into this vehicle both from the designers and the engineers and the planners uh, on the vehicle. You know we really wanted to say we, we kind of started from the inside out and worked our way out um, and you'll notice even on the rear the tailgate open is about six inches wider than what it was on the outgoing model. So we really allow the outside in and the inside out. It's kind of like a mobile terrace back there when you open up the tailgate. You know, with the popularity of overlanding and car camping, um, you know, this is the perfect vehicle, you know, for the for the daily commute during the week or picking up the kids or then getting away for the weekend and enjoying, you know, night out under the stars. You know, Santa Fe can really do it all. And a year ago, we were talking about supply chain issues and uh, semiconductor shortages. And uh, how has all that played out? Yeah, thankfully, you know, Hyundai was never really hit too badly by that. Um, but most, all of that is behind us. You know, full, full, full blare ahead. Uh, you know, production will start shortly, and the vehicles will be available. Um, probably the gas engines about March, February, or March of 24, and the hybrid will come along in spring.